Yo, 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 man. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dinell YG, man. I'm back with another stream of uh, NCAA College Basketball 10. And, um, got some heartbreaking news, but I'm gonna look at this situation like like the Cowboys looked at that ass whooping we took last week. 10? Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting on him to touch me back. Saying that's some shit you had to learn from. That's a that's a that's a loss you had to learn from or whatever. Cowboys lost, they learned from that loss and they came back and won. But this one, man, I was another team who took one too. Oh, Green Bay Packers. You know what I'm saying? They took it and they came back and won. You know what I'm saying? But not nah, not Green Bay Packers, excuse me. I forgot who it was. Somebody took a hell of an ass whooping. And they came. Oh! This is one of, uh, just like Pittsburgh need to learn from. But anyway, we took two losses to Washington. I mean, Oregon State and, uh, Brum High should go down. <laughs> oh, my bad, y'all. But, um, we lost to Oregon State and we lost to Washington. Now, I'm not, I'm not surprised we lost to Washington because... I'm not surprised we lost to Washington because it was a rematch of the game that we beat the shit out of them in. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we here with Oregon. We at Oregon tonight. About to bust their ass, do them in. I was to Oregon State, too. I might have to play these niggas again. Get my get back and us on my court. But nah, I ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna break, break schedule. So, depends on how I'm feeling tonight. I might give you both Oregon games. I need this game for tomorrow. And this game for tomorrow. Depending on how I'm feeling or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna do another game. Well, I'm gonna do one last game after this. I'm gonna give you that that Oregon rematch. Matter of fact, yeah, because I'm gonna give it to you back to back. I'm gonna give you that Oregon with this Oregon rematch. Damn, we dropped the number six. I like the Oregon jerseys though. I ain't even lie. Oh, <laughs> that! I'm like, I gotta play Oregon. ESPN, Page and Cage. <laughs> we evenly matched team, as they say on paper, as you see right there. But uh, I'm not outshine these niggas. First half 
Smith is officially the guy. Zone defense. Guys usually light up, man. Slip in a gap, get wide open shots to get the zone. The wings are wide open. Reverse the ball. On the left side. He got the bucket to go, and he'll really? have a chance to add one more. He saw the foul coming, Brad. I saw no such foul, but anyway. okay. And, of course, his season average. One thing that stats don't show, Brad, are the intangibles. The pass that leads to the pass that ultimately leads to the score. Reflection, five of the loose boards. Those are all the important stats in my books. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things Man. up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post oh, guy on the oh. interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. He shoots the jumper. Goes up for two. They got the offensive rebound and the stick back. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nope. That's all good. Sweeney receives the ball. Trying to see where they have the ball with the defense. Mason receives the ball. Jump Cash. Plus the J. You heard that. He already took to the twine. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Loose ball. Great play. Not this time. Tries for two. Comes up empty. All good. We're going to take that shit to the right. Look at the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet it. apart. Come on. The Bruins with the push. Kane picks up the foul. That's what I'm First talking about. Personal foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled him for 50 easy basket. Well, that was a 10 points a game. Okay. JP. Bruins will step to the line for the first time. First shot, good. Off the court. Um. Rings off. And they still keep it off. Another offensive board. Nobody hey, blocked it out. Wide open looks. It's on defense right now. On the dribble, gives it up. With a bucket, it sticks. Ball receives the ball. Uh. Jumper won't go. Falling back into a man-to-man -man defense, Dick. Cash handles the pass. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point can set things up and the he other put that up over. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a push guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside. But they're going to four people on the man. exterior. Wilson receives the pass. He goes up with it. Uh, Scorches that's the right. With a J. I'll take the pass. That's what's up. Good oh, foul. Like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. You know, Brad, as a coach, your seniors are a very important part of their operation. The underclassmen look up to them and really lean on them for guidance and direction. When a senior accepts this role and leads by example, it helps the coaching staff and the team immensely. Converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Goes up for two. There we go. I'm going to get through that shit. The Bruins are looking to go man to man here and lock things down. Oh, this press is set up. You better be aggressive on a defensive end, and you better help each other out. If the dribbler beats the guy up on top, he's got to rotate over and give him help. Way out. Cash. Uh, you got to make that, baby. On the outside. A little two-man action. 
controlling the ball. He pulls up with a jumper. Missed the jumper. Out on the wing. Moving it around the perimeter. Puts up the jump. Ah, oh, there we go. They got it. Puts up the jumper. Missed it. Around eight minutes remaining. Walker handles the pass. Going to take some pride on the defensive end. Box out, go for the that rebound. Boy. Was ugly. On the right side. For two, and he can't hit the shot. The Bruins in transition. Ball receives the pass. What is he doing? We're going to move it around the perimeter. Lots of room. Nails hey, what are you doing? And then figure out trying to figure out what they what they doing and shit. Like, dude, what's up, bro? Changes its look. Up and inside. And his shot rejected. And the ball out of bounds. But we'll be staying right here. Let's check out this three-pointer one more time, Dick. Indeed, Cash, that's it. Shot, baby. Jumper. They work the perimeter. Bad decision there by the senior. The Bruins in transition for the bucket. Man, he better take Nobody that shit. The ball. I mean, he just has an open lane, man. He can run that truck from there. Fed the low block. He attempts the jump shot. Excellent jump shot right there. Now the turnaround jump. Uh -huh. He's in a serious rhythm. Hey, Bust that shit in your mouth, nigga. Very important. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. The mark. Well, go ahead in this About six minutes remaining. He unloads a three. Nope. He takes the board. Both teams looking to get things going here. Goes up for two. Shot off. They want an we'll offensive that. interference call and don't get it. Receives the pass from right in the circle, off the mark. He just can't escape the pressure. Hey, Trout's giving that kid some fits. What a two-three zone. Gotta take care of that ball. Time through. to pick up the defense here now. Uh, Perfectly gotta take executed. care of that ball, fool. Five minutes remaining in the game clock. Looking for a good shot. For 
two. Nice shot. Oh, great. Well, a great backdoor pass right there, Dick. That was a great cut and feed, Brad. A perfectly timed read. The Ducks in attack mode. A terrific score off the fast break. Wilson receives the pass. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up with a shot. Ugh. They get it to go. Side. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. About four minutes remaining on the game clock. With the catch, block. And the ball out of bounds. But we'll be staying right here. Coach about to juggle the lineup. Screens when you inbounds the ball from the baseline. Zone defense. Look at the zone. Get into the seam of that zone, man. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He attempts the three. Scores it. This shot. He wanted that. Now they work it around the perimeter. From the corner. Jumping in look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. block kicks it out great pressure great double team really explosive oh he hot trying to feed inside jump hook from the low block ah it's got a fall handles the feed Three minutes remaining on the game clock. Hello. Look at that spacing. One. On the edge of three. And come up short. Mason receives the pass. Pushes it up. He puts All up right. the three ball. Nails a sweet jumper. All right. Three. For two, shots off the mark. That's good. Now that's how you take the ball to the basket. Well, he spotted an opening, oh, and he just man. absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. Jump hook from the low post. Missed oh, it. Boy, it's gonna fall, baby. Top of the key with the fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. Nope. Pushes it up. Jumper will go oh, on the left side. And a momentary look from three-point land. He puts up the J. Substitutions for coming. We need that time out. Inbound 
Here we go. It's the Jada Fall. Just needed the more pregnant. The Bruins are looking to go man to man here and lock things down. Hey, man to man, get the face of the opponent and force them to play against pressure. Now trying to feed the low block. He tries the jumper. And scores. We continue to track the game's tempo. These teams are selectively pushing the ball and looking for transition oh, opportunities. Wow. Can't connect. And it's gripped actively. Yeah, make that. Pushing in transition for the bucket. That's a basket off the break, baby. They step back into a 2 3 zone. You got to be careful in a 2 3, Brad. Close out. The close out. The Bruins are on the run. So it's sure. so important now. At the oh, point, the that's what I'm talking about. Things up in the other four that's what I'm talking about. Well, you know what they're doing is a four. I had to tighten up my britches and sit up in my chair, nigga. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Oregon and UCLA rematch up next. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. That's what I'm talking about. Take it to the Riz With a big shot. Oh. He could have got that shit, though. He could have got that shit. At halftime, the Ducks trail by Game summary to this point so far, Dick. Tell you what, you can get a sense of the story of this game by looking at some of these numbers. Still lots of time to play, though. Anything can happen. So they, about, they, like, they like to get out and run with us. Well, that was a good thumbnail for the jersey, too. <laughs> but, um, and that was a good thumbnail for my body, too, for real. But uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I need some subs. Nah, nah, I don't. Nah, nah, I don't. We got to play thug up. Defensive matchups. Uh... Let's play them a little tight. See how they gonna fear. That's a good thumbnail right there, too. Looks like they're going to go with a full court man to man press, Dick. Or two. It's good. Stand that man to man. Let's see what they're going to do with it. Connolly receives the pass. The Bruins are in a great position at this point and has it rejected. Oh. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I should have did a spin off. They get it to go. Shoot that shit. Both teams are looking to get something going. See, I ain't overthinking what I just I ain't, I ain't overthinking. I just know what I want to do. That's all I'm saying. Cat receives the ball. He draws a foul. It's all good. It's only the first one, baby. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. to the line for the free throw. The first one is no good. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? The Ducks, during halftime, really focused their discussions around defensive rebounding. The coaching staff felt as though they've been inadequate in this area. Moving forward, expect five guys in their full defensive rebound. Their team style of play relies on them being a good defensive rebounding team, something they haven't done so far. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. And come up short. In the paint. Arm and foul. Take the foul, nigga. Well, I don't know 
know there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nessler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Here's another solid junior, Dick. You know, Brad, you look at your juniors as third-year players who have been there. Nothing should be new to them by the time they're in the third season. They should know what's expected from them in the classroom, and they should know what to expect from the conference opponents. The level of familiarity should be much higher than what it was in their first year. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by Good one, KB. They're trying to plug up the middle with it. Blocked! Looks like they're setting up into their zone motion. They'll bring it back out on top and reset That's it. That's right. Okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. He was rocking on the box. I hit I him. Got him though, that injury. I hit him though. That's why I went to him. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He hits the shot. Fuck this head up. Fuck this head up. Working it around the perimeter. Is that zone? Two, three zone. They work it around the perimeter. He goes up with it. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Wilson receives the ball. Hey, he shoots from the corner. Missed the jumper. You gotta step up taking the three. Pushes man. it up. I mean, taking the uh, jumpers in the paint. Gets the rejection. Scores it. Controlling the ball. Trying to feed the low block. He pulls up with uh. a jumper. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Way out on the right wing. Definitely a foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled the prevent the easy basket. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. Oh, it's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Got a goal. Oh, he drained it. That's a Manala, NBN. They need a timeout. Fuck that. We got the best that have come out with them. So two, two or three, maybe one. Time up. Hello? All right. Time out call. We'll get back to the action right after this. second y'all give me one second all right i'm back y'all i had to go grab some of my little cousin but uh let's go man it's a good game <laughs> that's why you will get the rematch next man let's go sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm brad let's see what happens here he attempts Cash. to try uh. to scorches the net with a j 
That's your own. Yeah. They come out in a 2-3. They want to size these guys up for a minute or two. For the bucket. Nope. Oh. He attempts a jump shot. Ah. What's up? I think I'm about to start making Roy 16. Oh, that's a discrepancy, though. From left of the circle. Jumper won't go. Oh, yes. This is the type of guy that can throw the whole kitchen sink at you if you're not careful. I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Nestler. He's worked hard to develop a variety of post moves. Just a complete post play. Cross court. He fouled him. And one. For two plus the high. Hey, he sized the defender up. Did you stop touching stuff? For the Boy, was that no, can you stop touching stuff? This is what he's been able to bring to the court per game so far this season. It's not always about numbers, Brad. It's good to fill the stat sheet. But does he do the little things? That's the question. Uh... Give me one second. Looking for a good shot. Alley oop. Wow, Ooh. what hops, baby. What hops. I'm making mistakes. I see it. But it's all good because um about seven minutes remaining in the game clock. They're working around the arc. Uh, there we go. Like I said, I be trying to move the ball around more versus then just everybody trying to play hero ball and all that shit. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul. I feel if you move that ball around more, then you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get good production. Everybody. At the free throw line. Opportunity misses the first. Second one is no good. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. I'm going to score uh, four points. It was just like 46 40. It's that time out that did it. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. It looks like a few substitutions are going to be made here. He got it. Missed it. 
Wisconsin is my shot. Is all about. Oh, 
Nice execution on the spin. That's a great spin move to the basket. The student section is all rallied up, and they are there we go. The Now my way. Looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. About two minutes remaining on the game clock. He tries to knock down the three. Missed the jumper. Mason receives the ball. Obvious foul. He uh. gets the foul, and the layup will count, Dick. Hey, way to play strong, my man. Way to play strong. of capping the three-point play. And it looks as though there are going to be a few substitutions made. Makes it. Barring some sort of miracle, I think this one could be over, Dick. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Sir. It's a minute 32 seconds left. About to go down. I thought they lost. We won. They held on though. I give them that. But I'm about to upload this game. The Ducks are trailing in. Give them a chance. Some adjustments you know heading into this timeout. Be uploaded or whatever. I'm about to eat, nigga. Let me get back. Smoke me a blunt. Eat the rest of this brownie. I need y'all one last stream or nothing. This stream, bro. I'm gonna get down to my draws for this one. Cause uh. It's going to be the rematch. Oregon, UCLA, and Los Angeles, baby. And Los Angeles. God bless you, man. <laughs> Something seriously be wrong with me, Slim. But I love it. It's my own personality. You know what I'm saying? It's my own flaws, my own way of life, my own way of thinking. left on the shot clock. He tries to beat the buzzer. Misses on the trifecta. God bless you. They get an open three and come up short. Goes up for two with the layup. The Bruins did a great job of turning things around in this game today. Hey, this game 
sure did. Slot, but ugly losing slump. Yeah. But they pulled it together and played with confidence and composure. Got 24 if they bring that type drop, of play for the next game, I expect to see more wins from this team. Somebody rocking the block with the music. Now, frankly, I don't give a fuck, my dear. But you know, they rock. Players of the game for this one. Here they are. Get that W, baby. Get that W, and that's what it's all about. I'm having a good season. And uh, I'm loving that shit, dog. But like I said, when I bump it up to 15 minutes, all conference, it's going to be a little bit harder, so I'm going to have to think. Not a little bit harder, less harder, but think more smart. You know what I'm saying? More, more intelligently. Damn, 90%. Though. Nah, no 50, 40, 90. Uh, Boy, that would have been a hell of a 50, 40, 90, dog. Who? Who? Oh, no, I cover it up. I got to finish this shit up first. Yeah, I like them stats. My bad, I give it a little minute before I, you know what I'm saying, so let you review, whatever. <laughs> what? So since Polite, right, and Butler are on the bench for the rest of the year, until they, until they improve in practice, I'm bringing another uh, power forward off the bench to help us fill that void and that gap. Got somebody, coach got somebody he's been working with. You know what I'm saying? Since the beginning, of the, since 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 he saw this problem, whatever. But he's been working with him throughout the whole season, but whatever. So you know what I'm saying? Coach gonna let that nigga get some bump. Don't know when or where, but he will be thrown in the lineup. Oh, you want that sprite? Right there. Six team on the on the year. Um, next game we gonna play. We gonna get Oregon every match. But uh, hell of a game, dog. And uh, y'all stay tuned for the uh for the rematch. Oregon at UCLA. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy this game and stay tuned for the rematch. Peace.